Yo, look at this cool ass graphic on this box. You look ready at this. to run some plays? Man, this is dope. Coach Chris coming at you. Hey, what's good guys? My name's Chris. Welcome to the official weartesters.com YouTube channel. Today we've got a real special pickup, man. Real special. I've been waiting for these for a long ass time maybe for over a year definitely for over a year because last halloween you got those ghostbuster ones they sent you this past halloween this most recent yeah okay so because that's the thing so those were oh yeah it's got the damn date on there yeah 2019 summer didn't drop until like a year later after championships were won and then when they did drop finally they dropped at Foot Locker canada so i couldn't get nothing you know what i mean and i was like man what the hell and they kept teasing on instagram all these dope pe's and i was just like like, bro, are we gonna get any of these? They said, stay tuned. I've been waiting so patiently. This is how to do it, man. So these guys right here are the and one attack 2.0. This is not your Walmart and ones, man. Trust me, I keep checking those out, okay? Because for one, they look like Jordans. So they intrigue me when I walk by and I'm like, what, what was that? Was that the pair of Jordan sixes? Those have, were FUBUs. <laughs> they have ones that look like Curry's. They do. They got a Curry and 11 mashup with like a Jordan 11 bottom. And then they got some threes, some fours. Some of them are shacks. Some of them are and ones. And I check them out every time just in case because i'm like maybe i should do a video on that but the the midsoles are fucking rubber i ain't playing in cup soles man if i'm gonna do that i'm rocking some jordan ones i'm gonna look fresh as but this is not your walmart and one these are dope and ones these are and awesome this is like when i was in school and once if you like street ball take these outside you'll be good man so those came out first well they didn't you know we got those i was like holding off on a performance review because i'm like when the you gonna release the shoe and then again like i said earlier they just like drop them in canada and then they sent these over here which are so they glow in the dark too. Those are the Ghostbuster ones. Yeah, man. These are sick. Inside the insole says ankle busters. That's cool. Those didn't release, by the way. I don't know what the deal with this was, but they didn't release. But these guys right here are just one of the many colorways, one of the many PE colorways that they've been teasing on Instagram for, it feels like forever. So there are three colorways that are available right now. This is one of the three. All three are PEs cool man this is what i'm talking about you guys already know that i f with the team shoe colorways right i just had to get this one the red ones are super dope actually the white with the gum bottom those are super dope too so all three are cool but this is my favorite one because he plays for the raptors right now i want that you know what i mean i'm not a raptor fan but i want that look i want to be like yeah that's fred's shoe this is sick this is what it was like to be a sneaker person sneaker head whatever want to call us back in the 90s man like you go to the store you see the signature athlete shoe in the signature athletes team colorway and you just had to have it this was what it was like back then i know it's different now because now you see this stuff Ooh, it's bright Ooh, it glows in the dark never not nah, man this is what this is what we want this is what i want these are quality too again man this is not your walmart and one they kind of f***ed up when they did that man like kind of like a lot like up big time made their brand look like a walmart brand obviously but this is a quality shoe right here it's a super good performer on top of that again indoors outdoors whatever it's awesome that traction look at it it's beautiful and this shoe just grips man it's super sticky it's firm as well so again you can play these outside and one is a street ball brand therefore you can play with them street ball they have torsional support unlike some shoes not gonna name names just saying and on top of that, the midsole right here, I know it doesn't look like anything crazy because it's just EVA right there, but inside is actually ETPU. What is ETPU? It's Boost. So yeah, there's a footbed of Boost, but it's not Boost. These are, again, not your Walmart and ones. These are dope and ones. These are cool and ones. This is what and one used to be. Now along the upper, we got multiple materials, multiple layers, even though it's kind of a one piece, but it's done in a way to where it looks like a 90 shoe, a little bit. That one back there is a little bit different because that does have different panels and stuff like that. This guy is majority textile, just like these. And what I like is that the textiles actually like feel substantial. They don't feel like cheap sh so like we got like a really nice mesh here on the toe. This stuff is awesome because it doesn't require a lot of break-in time. If you need more performance information, by the way, there is a performance review and it's a great shoe. So surprise, surprise. Again, I keep saying this is not your Walmart and one because today's sneakerhead, like today's kids, they never even rocked a pair of and ones, but they'll sit there and like make fun of them. It's a little lame, but you know, it is what it is. That's what just do. And then on top of that, we got a little bit of a modern day ripstop-ish material. And then the back area right here is neoprene. It feels awesome. It reminds me of the Air Jordan 7 and the Air Jordan 8 tongue. You know what I mean? That's how it feels around your foot too. Like it feels awesome. And what I really like is that this particular colorway, the back heel here is sick this woven sh it looks like a finger trap it does it reminds me of the air jordan 15 which i love so just uh, seeing that i'm like yes you know and i really like that man i like all the little details too i like these little arrow things i know it's really dumb but i just like that it's showing you lockdown lockdown 
You know what I mean? And so like, that's exactly what they're supposed to be there for. It's dope. I really like it. My favorite sh though, besides the colorway itself, is that they are fucking PEs, man. Like, look, they got his signature on the tongue. I love this logo, okay? This uh, Raptor Claw with Fred's initials. This is on every fucking Nike athlete and their PE or logo whatever the Giannis logo the pg logo this is dope i feel like now he can't leave the raptors though because how do you i don't know if the other colorways have this i don't think that they do mm -hmm. all i'm saying is that that's how to make an initial logo man that is the illest sh i've ever seen one of my other favorite parts is the back of the shoe right here what does it say bet on yourself Fuck yeah man bet on yourself Fuck everybody do you like if you like sneakers you want to make a youtube channel do it just might work out for you it might not but hey, you never know unless you try, right? Now, as far as their fit is concerned, go true to size. That's what I do. That's what I have in all of these different colorways and they fit me perfectly. Again, this is one of those shoes that like the more that you wear them, the better that they get. Gotta break them in just a little bit, just like you used to back in the day. And then once you're done with that, man, these are just, they're killer, dude. Like you don't have to worry about them and stuff. The traction on these is amazing. Especially if you get that gum colorway, gum rubber in general, doesn't matter what brand it is, but gum rubber tends to grip better than most rubbers. So if you wanted to just ensure that you get the best out of your traction, Action, go with gum rubber if possible so I know that I'm kind of old school with the colorways but like this right here like I've been I told Jordan brand this a long ass time ago because a lot of the stuff doesn't sell the team models and all that stuff a lot of the people as far as what we see online obviously all comments are not like they don't encompass everyone and they don't translate to sales always but the majority of the people when they see Luca or whomever wearing whatever in whichever colorway that colorway ends up being the one that people want yes that react elevation shoe I think is what it's called the Jordan Jalik reviewed them on on the channel here but nobody really with those until Luca broke dude's ankles in him and then all of a sudden people were like hey what was that again and that's exactly what I'm talking about so it's like if you would just release the stuff that these guys are actually wearing you know how frustrating it is watching LeBron wear so much dope shit that you can't buy well they call it LeBron watch for a reason don't they <laughs> that's diff that was a different thing oh yeah that that they were actually releasing some okay. of the stuff that he was wearing and everything but I'm, I'm telling you every game he's wearing something different mm -hmm. and every time I'm like those are dope. Tell me a LeBron fan wouldn't want that. And even if you don't release them in like mass quantities, just do a little, because if you do that with every color, then you end up releasing mass quantities. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like you end up with 50 billion pairs and stuff. And they normally will release that many pairs anyways, but it's all in colorways that the dude never wears and nobody wants. Mm -hmm. And they all end up at outlets and then they preach sustainability while they're in the ones up the environment and all that shit. so it's just like come on man this is what people want man like we want to see the guy do whatever in this shoe and then we want to be able to get that we want that feeling we can't get that feeling by wearing this because dude never wore this he wore this we want this it's that simple so it's like why is it that and one of all the fucking brands got it probably because they are forced to think outside the box being like that's exactly what it is they are not just an underdog they are like under the underdog's ass you know what I mean? Like they're the grass the dog sh on. To paint you guys a picture. Yes. And I say that with all due respect to and one. Just it is what it is. They are at the bottom of the totem pole. This is fucking cool, man. I love this. I'm so happy for Raptors fans. Not only that you guys got a championship, but that you're able to actually buy the goddamn shoe. Oh my God, that's a mind blowing moment. Like there's a reason why Chicago Bull colorway Jordans are so popular. It's because that guy did that sh in those colorways same thing with kobe 81 point game you know yeah. christmas day game like come on man it ain't rocket science it's marketing you know what i'm saying like yeah. it's just it's insane man this is what people want dude like this is sick go get a pair man these are awesome especially if you're one of them dudes that's constantly asking on the channel what about outdoor hoop shoes man i've been saying here you go yeah i actually stay tuned because i got something that's gonna surprise some people it's one of them shoes that is a low-key sleeper for outdoor basketball that you would probably never even think about yeah, it's a shoe that's not even in the basketball category. That's how much of a off the radar pickup this is. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the best part is that they're under 150 with all the tech that you could want. Just wait. I got you guys. Don't worry. Thank you so much for watching once again. Until next time, guys. Have a good one.